Hi everyone, it is November 10th, 2017, 9.06 Pacific Standard Time. You're watching the desktop of Dan Merkin, I'm the CEO of Trade Ideas. And this is Friday and I have to get a little passionate about what I'm going to say today. We've crossed the Rubicon, people, and if you don't know what that is, look that up. It's Roman uh, history. There is no going back from what you are seeing right now. Look at what is possible. Look at the percentages. Let's just, you know, by the way, notice how the software, just like a self-driving Tesla, is taking you through all these opportunities so you can view them all. But let's just kind of do it manually real quick and go to QBAC. Number one, you can see that the AI completely nailed this trade previously and here then took a break to reassess nailed it here and then nailed it once again today you're seeing a different way the smart way that speculation occurs and look at the gains compared to what do you have the s p that's down 25 cents think about this ladies and gentlemen by the way both directions long and short how often does the s p index get updated and who does the updating how does the stock even get in there think about how slowly this whole process of the way in which we view companies it's ancient it's really not that different from what was going on in the 1800s but what we are doing here with our ai is we're creating index from scratch. We are getting rid of it every day. We restudy and then we recreate the index from scratch. And the fees to be able to do this on your own in today's markets are not that high. You have a brokerage like Robinhood that charges you zero for trading. And even without the zeros, other brokerages, in fact, most of the online brokerages have fees that allow you to get in and get out without a lot of pain. This is a 10% trade. 10%. And look at how it happened. Notice how everything is color coded for you, once again, like a Google navigation with the destination of profits. You have 13 trades today. This is the historical test. This is the what's happening today. But the interesting thing is that even on the ones where you're losing, because you're losing, so let's look at the losers. We don't need to always stand on what's right. Here we have a loser that, by the way, at first went up and kind of spent, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes, you were up in this trade. Okay, that's number one. That's your biggest loser. Everything else is just incremental, tiny, tiny little slivers of loss that's how good the ai is right now it's feeling it and unlike you and i it doesn't get tired go to the bathroom and it studies it lives for one thing and one thing only to be a great trader great investor so that you can follow it and that's why i'm saying we've crossed the rubicon this is it the best part is and for us is that number one we can communicate this to you over things like YouTube, Twitter, etc. And if you're listening to this, well then know that you're seeing the future. You're, I mean, how cool would it be if you were there being able to kind of participate in the Netflix before it became Netflix or anything else? There's just opportunities for you here. When we were trading on the SO system in the 1990s, we had a tactical instrumental advantage here we have an informational quantitative advantage you cannot do this by guessing and i can assure you that any scientist with any kind of a phd looking at these numbers would understand that it is you cannot guess this way this ladies and gentlemen is the future this is science of speculation and there's only one of these in the world, and that is at www.
www.trade-ideas.com. Come take a look. Again, the Rubicon has been crossed.